Time of verdict. No cardio. We did no cardio yesterday because we had no time. So hopefully this won't be too bad. Let me see. Oh, let's go, baby. 152.6. Oh, look how glorious this looks, by the way, guys. I got all, like, my football gear, my other shit. I got a bunch of shoes down here. 152.6. See? That's already 0.6 kilograms. So, quick breakfast. We have a skier, and now we're going to eat cheesecake cake because... We can. It's 11.51 and we're going to the gym in an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to quickly eat this 40 grams of carbs and then this, which is about 45 grams of carbs and then some protein. So it's day three of the mini cut. As you guys know, no uh, newest uh, weigh in was 152.6. Today we are training back and uh, we're going to do deadlifts, five sets of three reps. Um, this is the first one. We're, taking, we're, we're worked up to a certain weight. Um, with one more sets, and then now we're gonna stick to one weight and do five sets with that. This is 120 kilos. <laughs> Size is um, chin ups. Follow me, Quinn. Follow me. Then we're gonna do lat pull downs, and then face pulls, I think is the last one. And then we're going to do cardio because obviously it's a mini cut. We we'll need to burn some calories. So, um, yeah, this is going to do uh, four sets of 12. Who was a fine fear? Ah, two, four. Ah, I feel so fucking weak right now. It's insane. So weak. Last set before we finish the workout. Only we have cardio left. That's fine. <laughs> no worries. Cardio, 330 calories burnt. Let's eat. I am extremely hungry right now. Um, I didn't eat that much before the workout, and we had a pretty intense workout with cardio. We did almost 350 calories burning. So we're gonna make a meal. I'm gonna make a little bit higher fat meal today because I feel one extremely flat, extremely tired, extremely weak and I just need, I feel like I need some fats. So uh, I got some salmon here. I got some um, cream. It's a light version, so it's not as fat as the normal version. Uh, then we have some uh, pasta and then we have some spinach for the greens. So this is gonna be a delicious meal. I'm gonna have 
this looks amazing. <laughs> this is food. If you ever had food, this is it. Right now, I can really feel that I'm in a calorie deficit because in the gym, I was feeling so weak, so like flat even. I didn't even get a pump really. Um, I just looked horrible in my opinion. In my, you know, in my own head, I looked really bad, but um, that's the price you have to pay. So don't, don't, don't get stressed over that. It's not, obviously not fine and uh, not good to have, to feel like super um, weak in gym, but it's also due to the fact that I had like not that much food before the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed the first ep two episodes. I really do. I haven't put them together yet, but I'm, my goal is to get them like five or six minutes. So it's a very quick watch. It's very easy. And like we don't want to do anything crazy for it. So it's easy to watch, pretty much. Now a way, way, way less interesting meal. Rice, chicken, chili sauce. Super, super simple. About 70 grams of protein. That's what I do know. So that's definitely enough for today. 2.15 in the a.m. I just finished editing the first episode and I want to step on the scale real fast to show you guys how much difference it makes when you go in the morning and in the afternoon. Now, I am holding a camera, so it is going to be a little higher. So it's 153, 154.2. Let's see how it is in the morning. Good night. 152.6. So look how much different that is from last night. That's insane. This is the fat that we need to lose. Obviously we're gonna lose everything and not gonna be super, super low in fat after like, I don't know, six days. But like, it's a progress, it's a progress. It doesn't take crazy changes in your life to lose some weight. In four days, right, we lost 0.8 pounds, which is great, like it's, progress you can clearly see it's going down all right my friends so breakfast i want to show you guys multiple breakfasts that i'm gonna eat and still lose weight so you you know you don't have to be super all strict you can change it up and do different stuff anyways super super nice i love them and um it's 250 grams it says and per 100 grams it's 54 grams of carbs, which means 250 grams is this times two and a half. So that's like 125 grams of carbs if I eat all of them, which is insane, which I'm fine with that. But on the bread, we're gonna have this. So this is chicken filet, and um, this is superior, whatever that means. Um, let's look at the macros real fast. Per 100 grams, and this thing is 100 grams. 2.7 grams of fat, 1.2 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. So this is pretty much a whole bunch of nothing other than just some protein. You know that sound? That's the sound of... They're done. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yo. Welcome back into my home. I just came back from the gym. And I couldn't really record that much today because I was by myself and had some very awkward angles that I had to do. It was kind of hard, but I had some chest. I'll put it on the screen, the workout right now, right here somewhere. And it went really well. I did some cardio after 350 calories. And the reason why I did 350 calories again. So my friend Jim just finished his internship with a very good grade and he wanted to celebrate it. So he asked me if he, if I would be down to go out to dinner with him and I'm, obviously super down to celebrate something that cool with my friend so um let's take a minute to learn something from this moment because i said yesterday in yesterday's video i was gonna have the salmon but since i'm having dinner somewhere else and the menu is not super macro friendly uh but i still want to go because my friend and i don't want to leave him you know to be boring, let's go eat chicken and rice at home. You know, I don't want to do that. So I have to compromise by doing a little bit more cardio. And after the cardio session, we're gonna have dinner in an hour and a half. I'm gonna have an apple and probably like half, like half the protein bar. We're having dinner in an hour and a half already. So maybe I can wait and have a little bit better food at the restaurant because we can either have a starter, a main, and a dessert. Well, dessert, not gonna happen. So a starter and a main, or we're gonna have just a main. We're gonna see. Moral of the story, you don't have to leave everything to get 
shred it. Learn to adjust and balance the two out. Have dinner somewhere else, a little bit higher in macros, higher calories, just compensate with cardio and with your own diet. What's up, bro? <laughs> Come on, focus on the bitch. Smarter. Smarter. Yeah.